Hey there, it's Brittany and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial. Oh man, it's been a rough week in the studio. I have broken two things that were absolutely one of my, I mean, both of them were some of my favorite things. The first one was this shell pendant and both of them broke in the exact same way. So I was either sorting and I was standing over by my um, larger Alex Ikea stuff and I dropped it from like chest height onto my wood floors and this guy snapped right in half thankfully I was able to fix it um, if, if you look closely there's a, a break line right here I just use I sanded a light very lightly both edges used some e6000 waited overnight for it to dry and then after that was done I removed any um, e6000 that was poking out the front of the back and then I took a little filigree and sanded the back, put dabbed on some glue, and then um, glued that on. And that puppy's not going anywhere. I would really have to work hard to break that apart again, and I'm not going to. Like I'm so sad that I broke that, and I'm so grateful that I was able to put it back together. Once I start wearing this, like nobody's gonna be able to tell. I'm not doing <laughs> tutorial with this today, but I wanted to show you. Like this is what I meant by I had a rough week. Like, I, this was one of my favorite things that I got in Tucson this year and I went and broke it so thankfully um, I don't I, right now I don't sell my jewelry so um, happy that this will just be for me and nobody will be able to tell except for the almost 12,000 of you who watch my channel <laughs> the other thing is this video is going to be the 10,000 subscriber giveaway I am behind by almost two giveaways so I have to do this one well, I don't have to I choose to do it every thousand subscribers and that's what works for me right now if it if the channel ever gets real big I don't know if I could do it every thousand but I try um, but I am behind just been a crazy year so far can you believe it's already almost the middle of June um, and then uh, I'm going to do a smaller 11,000 subscriber giveaway but this one was Britney's favorites and that's what I kind of wanted to do with a tutorial before it because I was I mean these were some of my favorite beats this is what I was talking about I did the exact same thing and dropped these last night these silly snakes that I was so excited to use and I was like oh they didn't break and then I came over the table I was like oh one broke I was like okay we can fix it and then I saw two broke I was like heartbroken myself thankfully two survived and they because I need two for the design that I'm going for so we'll put those aside I want to show you I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt attempt to fix these but we'll see we'll see what happens um yeah just gonna get out my e6000 I don't think I'm gonna sand these I don't think that would work out very well maybe I maybe I will I don't know I'm just gonna get out my E6000 and an eye, a head pin because my E6000 is crazy clogged. I refuse to buy another one when this thing's like still half full unless it starts like pouring out the sides, which I've had that do, uh, had it do that before. So I just get it unclogged by sticking in a cheapo head pin. And then start squeezing some out. And I'm gonna use actually this head pin to try and apply some of this glue to my beads. Thankfully, like I said, I still have two beads that worked. Or work, I should say. Oh my goodness, this is so sad. It's like I murdered these little snakes. All right, and then I just gotta figure out like which one, I think this one, this one, yeah, that goes together. Wow, that fits together really well. Um, actually, I'm gonna get on another head pin. You'll see why in just a moment. Um, I'm going to take my glue and dab it around. And I don't care if it comes out the edges because it will no matter what you do unless you don't use enough glue. And yes, I know it's probably going to get in that hole there. And then I am going to, oh goodness, was this the wrong one? All right, so then I'm going to, nope, this way. Oh no, this one maybe just doesn't fit as well. I don't know what I did here. There we go. 
All right, so I'm gonna hold that together. I'm gonna find my eye pin or head pin. I'm gonna stick them through because we want that inside to not, I mean, there was glue gonna go in that hole. Um, and what I'm, I'm not going to move it all the way down because I wanna have some leverage if this piece ends up being glued in there. Um, I'm twisting it a lot to try and get that glue free, but I wanna hold them together while they're adhering with the eye pin and then um, kind of yank that out once everything's dry. So I'm just going to apply quite a bit of pressure to get those two to adhere. Um, and then I'm just gonna smooth that. glue a little bit you can wait till it's dry I probably shouldn't be doing this with my bare hands because they're chemicals and things um, and then I'll just kind of peel that off later I'm just gonna push one more time move this around one more time and put them off to the side I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the other bead and then we'll get started on Our bracelet and then I'll come back and let you know <laughs> in a future video how this ended up working out because if it doesn't work then I want to let you know that too I don't want you to like tr think oh yeah Brittany did it she got it done and then there's something wrong with the way you do it no I'm gonna be real with you if I can't get it to work then I'm gonna come back and tell you all right so we see a little bit of that glue squeezed out I'm gonna put this guy through here kind of clean it back off stick it back through get as much gunk and glue off of it as I can again not going to move it all the way down because it is getting adhered in there I can feel it but I want it something like so the bead isn't just kind of holding itself together it's got something to rest against all right I'm gonna put those aside worst thing it worst thing that could happen it doesn't work right they're already broken <laughs> But I might as well try and save my money a little bit. All right, so I have a general idea of what I want to do for this bracelet. And I should probably use some different background now that I'm thinking about it because these are blue. So I'm going to put um, my two beads. So um, I got these wonderful, beautiful, amazing, astounding, gorgeous pearls from Mama Bruce. Lisa Bruce sent me these. And I can't remember if it was earlier this year or late last year. To this day, they are just the most stunning pearls I have in my collection um, thank you thank you Lisa you're amazing she's she's always such an amazing person and I wanted I've been saving them to make sure I have this idea that I want um, a huge Baroque pearl in the middle of my Larimar and I haven't been able I mean I've been able to find some but they're like $20 a pearl <laughs> and I haven't been able to make myself buy them that's the thing so I think I'm gonna I think, you know, I'm just YOLO, right? I'm going to use the biggest one here. I want it between my two snakes. I just think it's so gorgeous. I just feel so lucky that she sent me these. And um, I don't know, actually, do I want that one or do I want more of like a ball? Oh, no, I want the more ball. I will save that big one for something else, maybe a Larimar bracelet. Um, but aren't those, like, I just love that thought of these two snakes going after this beautiful pearl you know I know I don't think snakes care about seafood too much unless they're water snakes but it's it's in my brain okay <laughs> um, I did end up getting out a ton of different um, stuff I thought that I thought would go with these because I kind of want it to be gold because there's the gold wash on the snakes I got out these but they're way too big they're African brass um, and then I have like just nicer gold spacers in a er, nicer spacers I should say any metal spacers um, in a little cup that I like to keep near me and so I'm just I don't I think these might be a little too big I don't know I don't know what are you thinking Brittany maybe 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 I like it almost uh, I think it's a little big I think they're a little big oh I just love that I got those from Beetle Holly when they closed their well f fake closed their store <laughs> um I also got out these 
check glass beads to go around the back they are almost a perfect match for the snakes and I just love that that happened um I got these rings I think these maybe came from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago I still haven't used them and then if none of these work I have a big bucket full of gold spacers that um, I can go through I've re reimagined my spacer storage no, I really just don't, I don't want it. I don't want, I don't really want bling on this. I want it to be more like, you know, these are, these are lust. Like they've got a gold coating, but they're not blingy. Does that make sense? I don't want to take away from the snakes or the pearl. Get a goldy hair that won't leave me alone. Okay. So maybe. Oh, I really like that. Sorry, there is a lot of car noises going on outside. <laughs> um, because I'm facing, in the room I'm in, I'm facing my neighbor's garage. So, and they've got a really loud um, Dodge Charger. So I know I just said I don't want bling. I kind of like those just for the size. And the color, I'm going to look in my spacers and see if there's anything else that we can use here. Because what I don't want to do is use a really bright gold and then it tarnishes or the finish wears off. All right, so I recently got these African beads and then these with the rings. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm cutting these so fast after I bought them. <laughs> All right, I just want to see what these rings, I like these rings, I really love them, but I think they would look better with more beachy theme than um, snake theme. I don't know. All right, I'm not stringing these, I'm just doing it to see what it would look like all next to each other. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm either going to have to bead ream this pearl, because I was going to do a stretchy bracelet, or string it, or just use really tiny stretchy, and I didn't want to do that because most of these beads are pretty heavy. These are the things you have to think about. Oh, I kind of like that. Or do I like the other way? Mm, I don't love that because it just kind of eats up a lot of that snake. I know I said I didn't want sparkly, but we, we're allowed to change our minds, right? No, don't like that. Definitely want it to be a ring. do actually really like the two rings right there and then I'll see ring here ring on the other side I'm gonna open up my checklist and 
and I think I have some pearls with a similar nacre on them so I can use them without using one of these really nice um, Baroque pearls that Lisa sent. I think what I'm going to end up doing is stringing this bracelet. I wasn't going to do that, but this check glass has tiny holes and that pearl has a really tiny hole. So now I got to pick out a clasp that I think will work. All right, I'm going to check for a clasp and some pearls. I found these wonderful pearls that I got from Anne Marie. They've also got a similar nacre on them and I found these little um, crosses or but they're they go this way um, in my stash and these are from Beauty and the Beach Shop. I got them during a live sale. I think I'm gonna just put one of those on. I just love them. They're gorgeous and I totally forgot I had them. Um, yeah, maybe, yeah, I think just one will be fine. And I, f look at that, it's just like bright purple. I don't know if you can see that on the white, but anyway, love it. And then I found this S-hook clasp. Um, I actually don't use these very often just because I don't have a lot of them. Um, that's very similar to the tone of the brass. And I'll just use a brass ring as the, the hook for the clasp. So, um, yeah, let's just see what we can do here. I don't want to use a whole lot of pearls. Like I want it to just be mainly the like the snakes or the the snakes and the baroque pearl are the main event, right? And I just want the rest to kind of complement. So let's flip these guys over. Put on. I just brought out a little brass bead. I'll put a pearl in the middle of that. Sorry, my hands are like super dry. It is 110 degrees here. My hands are on fire. Um, and then I gotta get find another brass for the other side. Yeah, close enough. Oh, do I want two? I kind of want to continue with the two here. So I know I've been posting a lot of hauls lately and that's going to continue. I and can't stress enough how behind I was in getting videos out. Part of that was because of just some really rude comments and like I just lost the motivation. Somehow I gained some motivation to start posting again. But again, if I see rude comments, I'm just at this point, I'm not even going to acknowledge if I them. do, I might, I'm going to try not to be rude back, but um I'm just going to delete them and ban that person from commenting on my videos going forward. So if you want to be able to comment on my videos, don't be mean. It's, it's really not that hard. It's really not that hard to not be mean. Um, but if you don't like haul videos, don't watch them. I, um, I really do those so people can understand what kind of beads are out there and where to get them. Because for the most part, maybe one in every like, 30 hauls I might not say where I got something but for the most part I tell everybody where I get beads because it's hard to find where certain specialty beads are or good deals or something you know and that's why I do hauls also I, I like seeing what beads are out there and sometimes people haven't even seen some of the beads that you're able to find in a haul so again if you don't like watching them don't watch them it's, it's not gonna hurt me if you don't watch my haul videos but it does hurt me when you say mean things to me because I'm a human. So just saying that, just putting that out there. Um, I think a, a lot of people forget that. And sure, I'm open to criticism, but not just flat out rudeness. Like that's ridiculous. I would never do that to somebody else. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to find another pearl that's got a lot of shine, a lot of floor, um, a, B on it. Sorry, you can't see the pearls I'm looking at. Oh, I want this guy right here. It's okay if it's not the first pearl on your your list there. You can go further in your stream, <laughs> in your strand. All right, I think this bracelet's like gonna turn out to be too long, but whatever, we can fix it. 
it's already totally different than what I thought it was going to be, but I'm loving it. So there it is so far. Yeah, it's not too long. And then I'm just going to finish off both sides with some check, and then I put out that one little plus sign bead, cross bead, whatever you want to call it. Fit this around my wrist just to make sure. I'm going to take off one of these and put the cross on. Kind of sent that guy flying. Um, I think I need a. I have a smaller set of the brass beads. I think I need one there, but I got to find it. Oh my, having these brass beads neck. I'm sorry, having all of my metal beads next to me is like the best thing ever i don't have to get up i don't have to go searching i don't have to look through cases it's the wonder it's wondrous <laughs> and wonderful okay i love this bead and now i'm gonna i think i'm gonna try and use a antique brass instead of a bright gold bead here my goodness it was like this, i'm on a struggle bus over here i can't find any gold nice gold crimped beads either i have to use these tubes and i say nice because i have tons of like ones that are budget and i want this to last so i want to use a really nice set of crimps and that's why i'm going with beetle on a bead my uh ring I'm going to make sure I get a ring that this will fit around. Where's the one? Yeah, this is the one. Let's pull that out just a little bit so that my ring can get in there. And then come back through. And I want to make sure that I'm gonna go get my crimping tool. All right, and then I will crimp here. Goldie's been coughing up a storm this whole video. And then we're gonna put that in our largest valley of the crimping pliers and make sure that our wires aren't crossed. It's kind of hard to see them because, okay, we're good. Crimped. Turn 90 degrees. I think we'll be okay without a crimp cover actually because these are pretty nice looking. Move up my pliers and it just looks like a little gold bead. Now I am going to do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm gonna trim my wire first. my crimp bead, go through my clasp, come back down, and I think this pearl is too tiny for me to come back through the hole, I mean. I like doing it to get some leverage and have it look a little bit more seamless. But, you know what, let me just try doing it the other direction. You know, it went in this direction, but it's not going to go through because the hole's not even all the way through. Let me try and bead reading this really quickly. I know it's annoying, but um, 
it, it's just gonna look better to me and again this is a bead that I want to keep or this is a bracelet that I want to keep for a very long time this beetle on bead reamer you're supposed to do this underwater so do as I say not as I do where the issue is. <gasps> I did it! I know that's probably annoying to somebody, but <laughs> little details do matter. So I'm going to put that back on. Especially since this is like one of my new favorite bracelets and I haven't even put it on yet. <laughs> So again, we, we know this, but I'm going to say it again because I always say it. Um, we want to make sure that the bracelet is loosey-goosey, not in a straight line. Um, we want to make sure that uh, it's it's flowy enough for our wrists, right? No, don't want a, um, a bracelet that's a straight line and too stiff to wear. It's just not going to be comfortable. So I'm going to, and even though I'm saying I want it loosey-goosey, I don't want it to be that there are gaps in the beads. So I'm making sure there's nothing in the gaps, that it's tight against my crimp. And then I'm just going to crimp it. I will turn it. Oh, this didn't crimp right after all that. Oh, this didn't crimp right. That's the first time I've actually kind of seen that happen. I'm going to crack this crimp off and do it again. Just want to be careful that I don't cut the Beat string wire because I don't want to keep, I don't want to restring the whole thing. I just want to get this crimp off so I can redo it because it didn't crimp correctly. Be very careful. Oh my gosh, it's like. It's like Fort Knox. Well, I've mutilated this crimp and it will not come off. Normally I can just crack it right off, but these, like I said, are those high grade crimps. So maybe I'm not supposed to be able to crack it right off. I told you at the beginning of this video, it's been a struggle this week. This bracelet is like maxing out my struggle bank account. I'm trying not to give up. Just restring it. Everything I do is like making the crimp more strong, which is crazy because it's mutilated. It shouldn't be this strong still. Yee! Oh, I think I got the, the wire.
I mean, the worst, worst comes to worst, they'll just get new wire, but they'd rather not. Mm. All right, let's see where we're... Okay, we got it off. And the wire isn't too damaged, so let me see. Let's see if it's still salvageable. First, it's like, can you just finish me already and stop doing too much, being extra? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, you saw me crack off. Let's see, it looks. This looks like the coating has a little bit of scratch, but it doesn't really look like the wires are damaged. They're not frayed. We did it. Okay, I'm going to try again. I promise you, I actually am a professional jewelry maker. Just once in a while, crimps get the best of all of us. <laughs> uh, there we go. Let's try it one more time. One more time, making sure that everything is copacetic. We're good. Now I want I, I can't tell honestly if these wires are crossed or not. It doesn't no, it doesn't look like it. All right, let's try this one more time. <laughs> we did it so the both wires were in one side and that's not really what you want if you're crimping this this way all right so I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees fold again walk up my pliers so now we have a little tube I'll do a little cutsy wutsy here I don't know why I called it a cutsy wutsy and then we have a beaded bracelet my two beautiful snakes, enormous beautiful pearl, and I just love it. I love it. I'm going to put it on right now. Okay. It's way too big. <laughs> I like a little bit of room in my, my bra bracelets, but this one's got like that much extra room, and I could have possibly removed one or two of these beads. So I'm not redoing it because we just saw the struggle that I went through. Um, I'll end up wearing like a stretchy with it or something that will hold it in place in front of it. Um, I don't have a stretchy in here that I could do that with to show you what I mean. But I love it. But even after cracking off that bead, we might restring because it's just a little too big. And I think I can take off one, at least one of these beads. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you to Lisa for this gorgeous pearl. Thank you to Anne Marie for these pearls. Um, on the other side of the bracelet i'm just enamored of these this combination now for the good part we want to see the giveaway so i'll be back all right so the theme of the 10,000 subscriber giveaway is britney's favorite things so i had to give you whoever's going to be the winner some of my absolute favorite types of beads from my favorite companies so i'm going to start kind of Real small, and then we'll crescendo, okay? So I'm just, I pulled a couple things from some bargain, uh, a bargain bead box month, and you'll you'll see where I'm going with this. This will be helpful for you in the future. It's just some, some links, some um, chandeliers, some little tiny crystals, and a really fun, like, coral mix, and then some faux coral um, 
beads. So that that was just kind of a little fun mix from them. Then I have two strands from Beads Ink. If you don't know Beads Ink, check them out. I'll put some info in the description box below. I'm going to actually link to all the people that I'm giving stuff away from. So you'll get a wood, a uh, gold wood bead strand, like a full strand. I love these. And actually, now that I'm looking at them, they would have been helpful for the bracelet that I just made. Um, and then a polymer clay heishi strand. So fun. Actually, now looking at these, like it kind of reminds me of Dalmatians. Like this would be a great Disney uh pair like if, if you're making like Dalmatian <laughs> video but anyway I, that's neither here nor there um I love Sam's bead box I'm including some things from the May box so we had these check glass drop peach opal luster beads um I'm including the little elephant because we know I love elephants and it's not because his trunk is down I think he's cute and I just I love elephants and I want you to share in the elephants um some owls because I love 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 owls they're some of my favorite animals and some uh lava beads these are just so shiny and would make such a wonderful um bracelet and we know I love bracelets so that's from Sam's bead box bead zinc and bead box bargains then um, I have just a couple things from Carly's Creations, and that's Leah Clark. So we have this ceramic pendant, which is, um, I don't know why I'm giving this away because it's super cute. Um, the, and then this little tiny set that's like a little teacup and time for tea. I thought that was so cute. That's from Carly's Creations. Um, and then, okay, so I only could, I'm only parting with one of each style from my friend Heidi Blankenship, she makes, she hand makes beads and I'm sorry, I can't get pairs. Like <laughs> this is killing me. Um, so we have this ammonite coin. So vibrant in real life. It's not really showing up very well on camera. Um, I actually did get two of these. So I don't know where this hair came from. Um, two little, they kind of look like turquoise marshmallows. I love them. A sunflower. I love sunflowers. And then two little pumpkin beads, an orange and a, a cream or a little white one. Uh, it's like between cream and white. So I thought those were so super, super cute because you know I like Halloween. And then um, we all know that Vintage is one of my favorite brands. And I am going to be giving the lucky winner a patina and a glaze gloss. So that's why I'm including some of these metal pieces in case you wanted to try out patina so I'm using the sandstone color so you got to really shake this up when you get it and then a metal sealer and patina extender so if you want to make this a little bit thinner if you want to paint on your metal and then seal it that's what this glaze gloss is for um, I am giving away one of these pendants so you can also patina that if you have your own patina maybe that you just want to try it out before you buy some great way to win a giveaway so much fun um then of course we are we have to include jesse james beads so i am giving away some chain reaction um a full huge mix this is one of um 2021's uh what was it pantone palettes so we have illuminating and it's uh, an ultimate gray and I don't know why this is a little creased like that. It's, I haven't used anything in here There is a lot going on in there too. Look at all those crystals and there's boho beads and metal. Oh my gosh Oh my gosh, I want to win it <laughs> And then that's not it I'm also giving away um, This ice cream mini mix and strawberries and cream from Jesse James beads um, This mini mix that was in one of our um Magical Mystery Bead Box. It's Cancun. Look how bright. It's totally perfect for summer. These have been opened, but the beads are all in there. Um, and then uh, these two beautiful rose beads from Jesse James Beads. Oh my gosh, those are so pretty. I actually haven't used any of those yet. And then this strand. And I just love this strand. It is, it's got a big boho, two small bohos, and then some gemstones and crystals on it and some wonderful metal isn't that gorgeous i actually have a um, tutorial using this strand then um, you're going to get one of my personal mixes that i made for my sale this is the last one like this i think this was the coastal 
can't remember if this one was coastal or not. Um, but yeah, this is what you'll get. It's an African glass with a little bit of metal in it and some wood. That was hand designed by me. Um, you're going to get this awesome pendant. I don't know why I'm giving this away. It's so cool. It's a bone carved pendant. Now, um, if you win and you are, don't want a bone pendant or a animal product, um, I just let me know, and that's if you're the winner. Just let me know and I will replace it with something the same value and interest so you don't have to compromise compromise your your morals for a a pendant um and then another i think this is horn i actually sold some of these in my last bead sale got a horn pendant here and then oh two more filigrees just two little silver ones that you can try painting and then these I got in Tucson specifically for this giveaway. So these have been hanging out for four months for you. This is a set of unicorn beads, little baby drops. I love them. This beautiful pink. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. Thankfully, I bought myself my own strand, so I'm not jealous of whoever wins this. However, I feel like I need to and en enter my own giveaway. <laughs> I can't. I don't think that would be ethical. But and then last but certainly not least, um, this beautiful pendant from Amy Mealy at Zaz Beads. Look at that. It's Raku. If you watched that video, you saw me pick it out for the winner in her booth. Thank you to Amy. Thank you to all of these companies. I love them all. Again, I'm gonna link to everybody that's in the giveaway in the description of this video to enter to enter there are, are some criteria you have to be a subscriber of my channel and i'll ask you if you're the winner to provide me a screenshot to show that you are a winner or i'm sorry well that's your winner but also that you're um, a subscriber um please like this video and i'd like you to comment um below and i'd like you to comment something kind um i actually want you to tell me about some t uh, a time somebody was kind to you in my comments um do that and let me know you know what your fa what your favorite piece was from the giveaway um so two pieces in your in your comment what your favorite piece is in the giveaway and a time somebody was kind to you um i really just i really want to start spreading more kindness especially on youtube because we know it could be used here um so the giveaway will end i'm gonna let the giveaway run until june 16th at 5 p.m Pacific Standard Time and then I will announce um, probably 24 to 48 hours after the 16th who the winner is good luck I hope you win um, stay tuned for Goldie she is the light of my life and probably yours <laughs> but stay tuned for Goldie she's super cute bye bye